Hey there, September 13th, 2020. This is all about your Benjamins and your weekly mixtape. Let's get right to you the headlines that may or may not be impacting your financial plan and portfolio. If you're watching this on allaboutyourbenjamins.com, you can see that there's only a handful of headlines to get through. So let's get through them pretty quickly and get you on to your day. The first is actually gonna be starting with the area I hate to start this off with, but that's the market. I feel like this is the area we should spend the least amount of time, but over the last couple of weeks, we've seen volatility to the downside come back in. Uh, we've seen some pretty high flying stocks fall. And as you can see in this first article and see right here, if I do this right, uh, that the NASDAQ of the three indexes fell the hardest. Um, so you have the Dow, the S&P, and then the NASDAQ. And just wanted to bring this up as a reminder that when you get caught up with FOMO and you start investing in areas just because they're, the, they're doing very well, we think about earlier this year, um, and within the last couple of weeks, Tesla and Amazon and Apple, Zoom, all these tech stocks that have been doing very well in this COVID world, uh, we saw a lot of people fly into those wanting to catch that ride. Is the ride over? No one's going to know, but I just want you to remember that uh, you don't get those high rewards without taking on more risk. So uh, you got to be prepared to ride the roller coaster both up and down, and hopefully you can avoid catching it at the top uh, and then falling all the way down. And if you do fall all the way down, uh, you have to evaluate whether or not it makes sense for you to get off that ride, or do you want to try to ride the next wave up? Uh, which is why trying to time the market, trying to time stocks, buy, buying in and out, is a tough thing to do, and why a lot of us um, in, in my profession as advisors would rather have a buy and hold approach um, dollar cost average in with your savings, but not try to pick the tops and the bottoms because it's a hard thing to do consistently. Doesn't mean you can't do it. Doesn't mean it's right, not right for some people, but it just means it's harder to do. It may not be the best approach. So um, that's about it. I want to talk about the market. Just wanted to point that out. Uh, you know, I saw in conversations or heard in conversations uh, a little bit of wanting to get into these stocks and not miss these great opportunities. Um, and then we kind of saw them come back and correct pretty hard. So just want to remind you that you don't get reward without taking on risk and risk is not fun when it goes against us. Uh, moving on to the next one, you know, we are, I'm a believer in global investor, global uh, in investing. So having a diversified global portfolio. So we need to take a look at not just the US, but what's going on elsewhere. And there's some data that came out of the UK that shows that global growth uh, may be beginning to slow or having trouble uh, continuing its run coming out of the economic slowdown for everybody. So um, do you need to be making any uh, changes to anything? I don't know. Uh, again, this is why you have a financial plan. This is why you have a portfolio. This is why you have an advisor to kind of help you make these decisions. But I think it's good to see uh, what's going on across the globe. Uh, what's going on in the UK doesn't necessarily mean that's what's going to happen here in the US. But again, if you have a globally diversified portfolio, I, I feel that it's good for you to understand what's going on, why things may be happening, and that will hopefully help you stick with your portfolio because you understand what's going on rather than just reacting to news. So. Uh, we'll see if things come back, uh, but we'll uh, want to keep an eye on the global economy as well. Coming back to the U.S., it's been a while since the first round of stimulus checks went out. There's been a lot of speculation about whether or not they're going to continue. And this article uh, in the, the Wall Street Journal suggests that the stimulus checks are not going to be coming anytime soon, if at all. Uh, so I know that there was a lot of hope for a second round of stimulus checks, you know, $1,200, uh, for uh, individual was not enough to ride through what's been going on, especially if people have been laid off or their businesses are struggling. Um, so the hope is there. Doesn't look like we're going to get that. Just bring that up because it's a, a big thing that's going on, and um, you know you probably know somebody that's having a tough time. And if you have the means and you have the ability to help out, uh, this may be a good time to take that charitable inclination that you have and help people in need um, today helping them with groceries, paying bills, whatever it may be. If you want to see some inspiration on that, head over to Twitter, follow my friend Tyrone Ross, and he will show you what you need to do and how to do it. Uh, but it does not look like stimulus checks are going to be coming, at least according to this article, and we'll have to wait and see. Um, moving into uh, kind of corporate world, just I thought this was a cool headline to, to bring up. So Citigroup announced that their CEO is going to be retiring a little earlier than expected. And the successor is Jane Fraser. So she's going to take over for Michael Corbett. Yes, I have to look at this. I don't know their names by heart. Uh, but she will be the first woman to lead a, lead a major Wall Street bank, uh, which is crazy in 2020 that that's a big deal. Uh, but it is a positive thing to see move forward. So not a lot of commentary there, but just thought that was a neat headline to talk about. Uh, and then finally, if you remember a few weeks back, we talked about Tesla's uh, stock split. One of the reasons it was believed they were doing that was to try to put themselves in a position to be brought into various indexes. Well, the S&P 500 uh, team that is in charge of making up the index decided not to include 
Tesla when they made some changes. So they swapped out, I believe, three stocks, um, replaced them with other ones, but Tesla was not one of them. Doesn't really mean a whole lot, but uh, it was kind of one of the reasons we thought they might be splitting their, pri their, their share price was to get into these indexes. So um, yeah, so that, that, that's it on Tesla. So uh, you know, not a smooth ending right here, but that's all right. Uh, that is all we had. So if you're watching this on allaboutyourbenjamins.com, scroll on down, take a look at this week's mixtape. If you're watching this on YouTube or Instagram TV, head on over to allaboutyourbenjamins.com, check out the blog posts, check out uh, the supporting articles to this. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Don't forget to head over to the YouTube channel, hit that as well. Uh, the boys tell me the cool thing to say is hit noties, which is the notifications to let you know there's been a new video posted. So with that, I will let you get to your day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for reading. And we will see you all in the next episode.